If you're struggling with chronic neck pain, then this video is just some further advice alongside what you're going to be doing in clinic um, to try and understand why this might have happened. Now, with all chronic pain, we suggest that you visit the pain education section because chronic pain is a very, very different thing to an acute injury. And when it comes to the neck, there's a few things of note that we really want to talk about because in order for our, for our brain to understand the world, 70% of the information it receives is visual, and it's all just the information we receive through our eyes. And the other information that we get is from our balance system, in terms of head movement, letting us know where we are in space. And then also some, what's called proprioceptive, which basically just means feedback from our body. So mostly from the little detectors in the base of our feet that we're standing on the ground and from nerve endings throughout the body telling us where we are. Now with chronic neck pain, the muscles are locked up and they're not willing to let go. And this is because the brain wants it to be that way. This could just be a chronic response in relation to a trauma that you've had, maybe in the shoulder, and so the neck is compensating, or maybe you had a whiplash and ever since it's not been right, in which case the trauma is the clear um, onset of that injury. But in the absence of anything clear, we need to look at some other things. So the first thing is the jaw. A big issue when it comes to chronic neck pain is people who clench and grind their teeth at night because you may not know that you're doing it and every single night you're creating a fresh irritation and some potential inflammation in the joints of the jaw, but you may not have any jaw pain as such. If my jaw is here, my neck is very, very, very close by. And so it's very common to find the neck tightening up to try and stabilize this irritation to the jaw. So sometimes the only way of getting out of that chronic neck pain, you know, step one is to wear a mouth guard at night. You can either get one kind of cheap off Amazon that you mold yourself, or you can get one from your dentist who will be happy to help you. That's a really important thing to try and figure out. Why you do that usually is some kind of stress or anxiety, in which case you need to try and figure out the source of that. So the first thing is look at the jaw. The second thing is go for an eye test because some small degree of eye strain is enough to set the neck off into some degree of tension. It can even just be a real micro change that you're not aware of that can make a big difference when it comes to the uh, tension in the neck. Aside from that, in the clinic, we're gonna be looking at the eyes in a very big way and making sure that the eyes do what they should do. Because if you think about it, if I'm gonna turn my head to the left, my eyes don't stay facing forwards. My eyes follow with me. And so this is why they are yoked together. They are one and the same. If my head is still, and you can, you can do this now yourself, and you just put your hand on the back of the neck so you can feel the muscles, and you just look up with your eyes, you will actually feel the muscles in the back of the neck contract when you look up and relax when you look down. Because as I look up, my neck is getting ready to go up. And as I look down, those muscles at the back are, are ready to stretch to let me go down. And so sometimes, and you'll see some uh, exercises um, within this section to help you with some uh, relaxation of the neck, it's that the eyes are getting confused and so the neck is staying tight. So that's the second thing you need to consider. And the third thing to consider is any unresolved, um, perhaps low level infections in the ears or the sinuses. Are you constantly getting blocked sinuses? Is something really important to try and figure out. Um, and also trying to figure out if there is any kind of balance issues because balance issues have a huge effect on the neck because if my brain doesn't think that I'm stable, I'm gonna brace through the neck. So these are all things that you need to consider alongside what we're doing in the clinic here to try and resolve the chronicity of the neck.